I want to show you how I set up my Hyper-V environment to install and use an instance of Security Onion distribution to intercept all the traffic that comes in and out from my local network. So it's not demo installation with some virtual machine. I'm using a virtual machine to monitor my real network traffic. So first of all, I need to have a machine with at least a couple of physical NIC, a physical network card, because one card will be connected to the switch and use it normally to communicate into the network, while the other network interface card is used only to receive all the mirror traffic by my physical switch. Since I've got some uh, problems installing Security Onion on Hyper-V and I've seen that there are no a uh, lot of information around the internet, I'd like to share this with you and maybe I can save you some time. So first of all, you need to configure a couple of virtual switches. So you should click on Virtual Switch Manager and I have my local network where I am simply using an external network that is using my physical first network interface card. And I left this option checked. So I hello operating system to share this network adapter. And this is needed because the operating system is using this network to actually connect to all other computer in the network. So that's a physical uh, card that will be shared with my Hyper-V machines. And that's the virtual switch I'm using for all the virtual machines. In this kind of configuration, I have absolutely nothing to, to do. And I've created another virtual switch and this time it's another external network, but it's bound on the second physical network interface card and in this situation, I'm simply unchecking the allow management operating system to share this network adapted. Because, yeah, you know, we don't want the operating system to use this physical NIC because it's only used to receive mirrored traffic from my switch. Now, when you have both of the um, switch, virtual switch created, when you are creating your your Hyper-V configuration for your machine, I needed to add both the network adapter with both the virtual switches. In the local network switches, remember this is the standard switch that is connected to my local network and it's used to get a standard IP and it used to monitor the instance. I don't need to specify any other configuration. It's just like add a network controller and select the virtual switch. Things are different when you are actually using a monitor network switch because in this specific switch, I wanted to be able to receive all the traffic that are originally um, from and to other computer in my network. So. I want my network card to be set in promiscuous mode by the Onion, the Security Onion operating system. So when you press the plus in the configuration of the network adapter bound to this monitor network Hyper-V Hyper switch, I can choose hardware acceleration. So you can enable um, single root IO virtualization if your board is gonna support this can improve your performances, but in the advanced features, one thing that is absolutely important is this port mirroring. So the port mirroring allows the network traffic of a virtual machine to be monitored by copying incoming and outcoming packets and forwarding the copies to another virtual machine. So you have basically three options. So none is the standard. It's like, uh, I don't want this card to participate in port mirroring, or you can set the card to be a source. So all the traffic that pass into this card will be mirrored to the, to the other card on the same virtual switches that are in destination. So actually, if I choose a destination, what I'm telling to my Hyper-V host is that this network adapter will be the destination of mirroring network from 
other machine in this virtual switch. Now, here is the trick. If you just use this configuration, you are not going to monitor traffic from your physical switch. If, if you do only this kind of configuration, you are monitoring traffic that are uh, generated by other virtual machine connected to the same uh, switch. But in this situation, I don't want to create a simple test where I'm going to intercept traffic for other virtual machine. I want to intercept my physical traffic. So there's a nice article in this cloudbase.it, Hyper-V Promiscuous Mode, that explain you how you can configure your Hyper-V virtual switch, not only to forward to all the NIC with destination configuration, the traffic of other virtual machine, but also what's come into the physical port. So that's the three line of PowerShell you need to use. So first of all, you need to get the VM system switch extension port feature, and you got this feature setting. And then you set in monitor mode equal to, it's the source. So actually you are telling, I want my physical uh, network interface card bound to this Hyper-V virtual switch to be a source of traffic. And then you can use the add virtual machine switch extension port feature, and you need to use the name of your virtual switch and use the port feature configuration you've modified in the second line. Your virtual switch not only mirror all the traffic of other virtual machine through my security onion, but also what came from my physical switch. And as the last option, I need to configure my physical switch. I have a 24 port Netgear and for Netgear, you need to go to monitoring and mirroring and you have a simple configuration. First of all, I need to set the admin mode to true. This will enable port mirroring. Then I can choose only one port as a destination port and that's specify the 24th port of my switch. And that is the port that is physically connected to the second interface card of my Hyper-V host. So my card is connected to the switch, to the destination port. And remember it is a special uh, virtual switch manager. Configure the switch. It's a special switch. I want you to understand it's not only I not allow management operating system to share this network adapter, but also in the configuration of the virtual machine in this monitor adapter, I set up this virtual network interface card as destination. So actually I can choose which port I want to mirror. And in this situation, the first port of my switch is the port that is connected to my uplink router that is connected to the internet. So if I want to know what, whichever traffic is going from my local machine and the internet, I can simply tell my switch to monitor all the packets that transit in the uplink port. If I want to monitor some traffic that is going between two physical machines in this network, I can choose to monitor other port. But in this configuration, I just want to intercept all the traffic that pass from one of the physical machine or virtual machine that inside my work network to the external network, the internet and vice versa. So everything that's coming from the internet to my internal machine. Once you have everything configured, you should see traffic in your security onion. To understand if security onion is correctly receiving all the mirror traffic, you can simply connect to the instance of security onion. And that's my virtual machine is 10.0.0.5. Then I open Kibana that allows me to query almost everything that's inside my security onion. And I can create just a quick filter to verify if my virtual instance of security uh, onion is actually monitoring my physical network. So I can try to filter for the IP of one of the machines. So I can say source IP. I want to see if I have traffic coming from my workstation. That's 10.0.0.40.
that's another computer. It's not the computer I'm in. So now it's gonna issue the query to Elasticsearch server. And yes, I got 11,000 counts. So actually it's monitoring my physical network because the IP address of the host machine is 10.0043 and the IP address of Security Onion in the network is 10.0.0.5. And since he can intercept the traffic coming and going from 10.0.0.40, everything is working. So when my workstation, my 10.0.0.40 is gonna go out in the internet, it is hitting the first port of my switch to connect to the, my router and router go on the internet. And so I can see those are the, the last connection I've intercepted from my security onion. So with really few click and few configuration, you can create a virtual machine that is capable of monitoring your physical network. Just remember, if you are using Hyper-V, just use this kind of PowerShell configuration to configure your virtual switch to forward to security onion machine. Also packets that came from the physical interface so all the packets that are mirrored by my physical switch. I hope that this can be helpful to you. And if you want to have a nice way to monitor what's happening in your network, I strongly suggest you to have a try on Security Onion. It's really simple to install and gives you a lot of information of what is going on in your network. Bye-bye.